Welcome back, Drop Bears fans. What a big game we have for you today. We're sitting last in our division, Wombat Division, in the Gold Conference on 16-14. Only a game and a half behind top, who are the Hornets. On uh, 17 and 12. And with only four games left in the season, we have a home game today against that top side. We can chop the gap from bottom to top to half a game <laughs> with three games remaining. That would set us up for a real shot at the playoffs. If not a shot at actually winning the division. Just not out of the question yet. Even though we're last. But to do that we need to knock off this side. The Hornets 17 and 12. And that's today's game. Right, let's get to it. Uh, Sloan's a bit off after having a bad one last last game. That's her catcher. She was playing centre field. What was she doing out there? I don't know. Um, now, Posada is our catcher. He's not 100%. So, Sloan, we're going to keep you, but we're going to swap your position. Take over catching roll. And Prasada's going to have to come out. Oh, not Loki again. <laughs> that sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, not Loki again. We've given him two rests in the last four weeks. Each time he's come back, he's done nothing. So, I'm very reticent to make this change. Loki, are you going to do something this time? <laughs> You answer me? <laughs> uh, I think he's actually a left fielder. But Austin's playing second division as outfield, so how about we swap their positions? I'm playing the centre field now. Loki, you've got left. Sign your catcher. Ren has got first base. Who's got second? Burke. You are a second baseman. Who's third? Pip. You are a third baseman. So who's our first baseman? Sam Brick or Wang? Well, let's give Sam Brick a game, maybe. You are a first baseman. Oakley's playing outfield for Joe right, uh, right fielder, outfielder, yep. Third base is a third base. Shortstop playing so second, playing second. First is playing first. Catcher's playing catcher. Left field's playing left field. And Olsen is a first baseman playing outfield. We haven't really got anyone else, so. We're going to leave that as the batting order. I think so. Yep. Okay. Pitching wise. Blythe is fit. Something's wrong. What's wrong? Tense. She's tense. We've still got pitching problems. I don't think there's anyone who can replace you. Slip's not, not ready. Uh, Vern's not ready. And Thrash is still unwell. He just played the last game, so he's definitely not ready. As for our starters, relievers, neither of them are ready either. So that'll be good to, to fill in for a few innings if need be as relief, which is good. Binky was absolutely horrible. I had to drag him after one inning in the last game because he gave away a free run homer. Uh, Major's getting over an injury. Still not recovered. And Laurel Powell's only got the two pitches. He's sort of our substitute closer because we don't have a closer. So we're thin on the ground again in the pitching department, which is not great taking on the top team. <laughs> but 
Lloyd's going to have to pitch. We haven't really got much choice. All right. Live your pitching. We're at home. Select the uniform. I like that one. Uh, home one. That one. We'll go with that. Let's play ball. Let's do it. How bad can it be? I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> Back at home. Wacker's wheel. To the visiting top of the division, Hornets. We're on the bottom of the division, but we're only a game and a half behind them. We can cut that to a half game if we can win this. It's a huge if on our current form. Although we are on the three game winning streak. But that's following a five game losing streak. So. <laughs> Who knows? I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Let's hope it's a good one. So they'll be batting first. Blythe. Here I am, 4.8. Number 29, Hera Ruglia. Right, here we go. What are we in for today? Two straight balls. You're already tense, you don't need to pitch like this. What's that, a screwball? Change up. Curveball, slider, four seam. Nice pitch. Short stop the sides. No, not bother jumping. No, jumping's for run. Jumping's for jumpers, and I'm a baseballer. <laughs> I'm not a high jumper, so I don't jump. Don't jump for nothing. Which makes it a base hit. Not a lot of speed, so it's only positive out of that. What's with all these? This has been going on for about five or six games now. A lot of wild pitches. I don't know why. <laughs> what am I doing different? Is the button stuck or something? <laughs> it's making me let go of the button earlier now because of the wild pitches, which of course means I don't get the pitch where I want to pitch. Nice strikeout. Now batting the third baseman, number 10, Ron Say. Say what? <laughs> what does Ron say? He says he's going back to the dugout because he just got struck out. That's what he's about to say. Could I hope so. <laughs> Second base can't stop that, and there'll be another base hit. Now got runners on first and second. With only one out. How about it? This, this team's playing like they're on top of the division. Maya Whitehead. Oh, they are. What? 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 what, what? Can you run all that by me again? I'm only human. <laughs> another machine here. Now what? This is where it gets interesting, isn't it? Yep. Down there. No, oh, 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 Too far oh, down there. Is the ladder up there? Oh, another wild pitch! Hits fouled away into the crowd. My god, that was a home run hit too. Look at that. Oh! You gotta give me that up! Tell you why I'm gonna win this game. Harsh. It's high. And how far back is it? Uh, it's way back. <laughs> it's a fly ball that goes for a home run. That sort of fly ball. I hate those sort of fly balls. <laughs> Every time I hit a fly ball, it, it stays in field. Tyson Anaya. How many runs was that? Ten? Three. Felt like ten. Normal transmission has been resumed. She gives up four runs a game, so a 4.8. She's already given away three in the first inning. So Blythe's right 
where she always is. Crap. <laughs> oh god. See that? See those white corner bits there? You're trying to pitch it somewhere at least near those. Otherwise, they won't even try and hit it. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? It's a strange game. Weird rules. First base dives ten weeks later. <laughs> you got to dive straight away. When, when I say dive, dive. Don't say oh, dive. Does that mean? I, I, oh, you want me to go over there? Okay. Oh, the ball's already gone. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I want your reflexes to be the same as mine. Because I don't have any. I'm relying on you guys. Oh shit. Uh, Fielder's Choice takes a slow runner, but uh, that means first gets the first. That's two out and one on. Oh, with pace too. Shit. How much pace was on the other guy? Might have went with the wrong one. Might have. Not it. Ugh. Shortstop can't dive that far. Yeah, see, they had a lot of pace there. Now batting the second baseman. Number Runners on the corners. Aspen Sherman. Two outs. And we can't start throwing um, pitches to the wind because we just don't have them to, to throw out. So, even though Blythe is, is rattled, she started off tense, she has to play through it. Because we just don't have the pitches. Bullpen is barren. Drag! Three year out. Struck out looking. That might help a little bit. She's already given away a three run homer and we're behind the eight ball before we even get up to bat. Let's see what we're made of. Let's see what we've got. What have we got in the tank? Bounce it anyway. Oh, we got a lot of it, but unfortunately, it's the wrong side of the pole. That's also foul. He's not some pitches here anyway. Another foul. Place is this one, but I think it's gone straight down the throat of the center field. It has. Nice hit, but straight down the builder's throat, center field. Loki's back again, he keeps getting every second week off because he keeps bailing. And that's probably why, that was late and that was a ball. <laughs> Puff, that was good. Pulls that one, he's early on that one. And that's foul. Fouls that one away. He's done some pitches here. Oh! Loki's back! I think that's gone! He smoked it! Welcome back, Loki! <laughs> and hashtag not a shutout. Loki pulls one out of over right field for his fifth homer of the season. Now batting the catcher, number three, Sloan Anderson. She's feeling a little bit off at the moment. But a good thing to fix that up is a home run, you know. <laughs> oh, a bit late on that one. Into the crowd, but no good. Oh, didn't quite get hold of that. And out towards centre field it goes. That's two away. Scooter Sandbrick. He laces one straight at the shortstop. He doesn't Check even have to move to take the catch. And we've got four runs already in the first inning. Is this going to be a shootout or what? Look, <laughs> Blythe's ERA is up to 5.36 already. The pitcher, number 54, Rocco May. Rocco May is their pitcher. I didn't even point that out at the start. Bad, bad habit. Bad of me. Naughty boy. Uh, 
some joy, didn't they? It was a wild pitch again. Uh, I don't know. Nearly got it, didn't it? Oh, yes. Nice pitch. Now batting the catcher, number 29, Hera O'Wugliams. O'Wugliams. Is that the strangest name in this game or what? Probably not, but it's up there. Anticipated. Anticipated that, huh? That's a fly ball. Hopefully, it didn't, didn't fly over the fence. Loki's got it. Yes, he has. Now batting the left fielder, number 71, Amina Harris. Amina Harris. 272, 400s. Nice set of pitches. She had no idea at any stage there. Great pitching. We go to the bottom of the second. Trailing by two. What the heck is that? <laughs> That's a long mower. It's in real trouble. Number 20, Oakley Steps. Okay, Oakley. We need that form from the last two games to carry on here. Thank you. Says okay, message received. Over the fence it goes. <laughs> Oakley is back. That's his fourth home run in three games after going ten games without anything. First pitch, no less. <laughs> Let's go. Now batting the third baseman, number forty-three, Hap Mess. Mess. There with the reticle. I thought I'd connected that. Struck out with some fast pitching there. Vinny Hurley. Batting 4 1 6 and 10 home runs. I think the, the reborn Vinny is definitely the man we wanted. And he's only young. Depends whether we can keep hold of him. I meant to, that was, I was trying not to take my finger off the front because I wanted that to be a check swing, but yeah, you can't do it. My bad, that was my mistake, sorry Vinny, that wasn't yours. Oh, that's big. Go, go, go. I think it's gone. It's gone! And just like that, I think we've tied the game up. Big Bad Larry, 12th homer of the season. Now batting, the pitcher, he brings out the pitcher. 32, Who has I two home eight. runs, would you believe? That was both in the same game, but she had one heck of a game in that game. And she's on base, she jumps on the first pitch, smacks it straight out centre field and she's on base. Now batting, the centre fielder, number 14, Barrett, Barrett Olsen, only batting 129. I've had the greatest of seasons. Chance to do something here then. Oh, let's get underneath that. Hopefully it'll go into the crowd. It does. Fouls that away also. Laces that, but he sliced it dead, straight down the throat of... Oh, left field's dropped it! Stay there. I wasn't expecting... Left field drops a sitter. That leaves us with runners now on first and second. And Loki well, knocks us up has already hit a homer. Wow. All of a sudden, what's happening here? Oh, he fly balls it. Almost had it. He sent it into orbit instead. Unless they drop this one as well, they don't drop two. <laughs> Surprising they drop one. Runners left stranded. Dang. But we scored the two runs required to tie the game back up. 
We get to the third, and it's 3-3. Three, three. Now batting the third baseman, number 10, Ron Say. So this top of the division team is not getting it all their own way now. They're going to have to earn it. They probably will, but they're going to have to. Fly ball. Probably going to fly into foul territory. Oakley starts to stay in play, but Oakley's got it. One away. The center field, number four, Maya Whitehead. Don't worry about those fly balls, because that first fly ball they hit went over the fence for a three run homer. That was a fly ball. It was up, more up than out. Unfortunate. Nice pitch. Catcher had already caught it, and then he, she bats it away. <laughs> well, it's still a strike, but uh, I don't know how you hit it out of the catcher's hand. Strike three, you're out. Is this doing anything for Blythe's spirit? Because she was, she was rattled. She's pulling out some good pitching here. It might be getting her back up. She's back to neutral. Oh right, she's fought away from rattled back to neutral. Nice. There you go. That base hit probably wouldn't have hurt either. Because she got a base hit with the bat. How could you not chase that? It was a strike all the way until the end where it swerved away. Good eye. Damn ya. <laughs> That's two balls, one strike. Fouls that away. It's two and two. Oh, misses the bottom corner. Full count. Now what? <laughs> yeah. Now what indeed? A screw ball. Low and inside. No, oh, not over the middle. Low and inside, I said. Yeah, that's what you said, but that's not what we did. I know. <laughs> But why didn't we? Oh, wild pitch. <laughs> oh. The right fielder, number 11, Wendy Wheels. Wendy Wheels playing in Wacker's Wheel. That's not half an omen, is it? God damn, she just got herself up to neutral. Oh, it stayed at neutral, even after the walk. But that was a horrible set of pitches. Ball, two strikes. There's one on and two outs. Oh, we tried to screw ball down there. Let's try it out there. Up there. Fouls it away. Still one ball and two strikes. How's that one away? One ball and two strikes. Let's see if we can get the timing off. Nope. Manages to hit it in the outfield in front of center field for a base hit. Now runners on first and second, but two outs. What? 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 <laughs> what was all that? Uh, easy jumps, meltdown, converse is RHP, RBI zero, and um, Bob's your uncle, and don't forget to get milk and, and bread when you're down to corner shop. I don't know what all that stuff was. <laughs> Oh, I know what that is. It's a wild pitch. Ugh. And it's probably a run. And the first six back down the second as well. That's two runs. God dang it. Oh, we did catch up for a moment, but then the Hornets showing why they're on top and we're on the bottom. Pick up two more. And take a two run lead. And there's still a runner on first, and two outs. But I'm not done yet. Uh, John Fowler, but John in the crowd. Finally gets the third out, but not before the damage is done. 
astronomical and they take the lead again. Grab a comet water and Five to three, bottom of the third. Oh, We've got our batters coming up again. Comet water Most of our guys are batters. Astronomical thirst. It's whether they bat. <laughs> Who is that? Sloan had a poor oh, game in the last Anderson. game. She would like to turn that around in this one. I'm, I'm quite happy for her to do that. Oh, that was a good one down the middle. That was outside, but we got some of it. <laughs> she manages to get hold of that one down the centre, though. Out the centre field. Butchie along the ground. That's a base hit. We'll take it. Strio Sambri. And 344, two homers. Hasn't been with the team that long. He's been a backup. So been on the bench a lot. Get into the crowd, don't be caught. Good. <laughs> Pulls that one out. It's going to possibly be a double play here. Nope. Scooter gets the first. Fielder's choice. The lead runner's gone. Here comes Oakley again. He's got a homer already. Send the face to one pitch. <laughs> Run! Uh, never try that. <laughs> I haven't got the runners to pull it off. Oakley now, see, that could have been a run if I had lifted them first. As Oakley does a stand up double. <laughs> That would have been, that would have mean the other runner would have been home. Had I not tried to steal second on the misfield by the catcher. But we didn't, and we didn't, and we didn't, so there you go, that's the story. <laughs> Up to Pip now, see so if we can do something with this. Gets it through the pitcher, run! Nope, doesn't make it. By a toenail. Oakley gets... Stranded at second. Well, I got the third, but doesn't count. <laughs> so we come back with nothing Go after back. trying to steal. Fair to try to well, play. no, we've got the players. We can't steal bases. We haven't got the legs. Is that pitcher staying in? Yeah, it's only the fourth inning. Okay. Good. Three, you're out. Now back, the catcher, number 29. They're back Hera to the top of the order. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Good. We've got a phobia about that now. Well, that's straight down the throat of Oakley Stiffs. He's got it. Out in right field. The left fielder, number 71, Mina Harris. Mina Harris, batting 270 and four homers. Fouls the first. In the dirt. Oh, swung at it anyway. It's in the dirt. You want the sandwich for that one? <laughs> That's wild pitch on the outside. They swing at it for foul. That's another wild pitch. That's one of the wild pitches, huh? Pitched 70 wild pitches in the last couple of weeks. Last three weeks in particular. And another one. Let's not finish there. <laughs> Why can't I let go of the button so fast? I don't get it. So I have to end up doing like that. It's only 84% because we'll hold it a second longer. Point one of a second longer, it's a wild pitch. But that makes it hard. Oh, come on. Why are, Why is every umpire in the competition against us? Probably because you don't invite them to the Christmas party. Well, I don't invite them to the Christmas party because they, pit, they call like this. They need to earn it. I don't mean call them all our way, I mean just call them fairly. I'll settle for that. Fair. If they can be fair about their calls, I'll invite them to the Christmas party. That's all I ask. <laughs> but I am yet to see one call it fair. 
<laughs> Not in a long time have I seen a fair call from the umpires. For everyone that goes my way, there's ten that don't. That's very, 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 very lopsided. Stop number 11, Vinny Hurley. So if you look at the bright side and, and they look at season averages or something, they need to give us a lot of calls in the last few weeks. So that could come to our advantage. <laughs> oh, has he got enough? He's picked the gap, but is it high enough? Nope, that's a double. Didn't look like it had the height. But he certainly picked the gap between the center field and, and left field. Big bad Larry. Uh -oh. uh, probably wouldn't want to go after. Neither was that. That's too wide. That's more like it, but I didn't get it. <laughs> Why'd you chase that? I don't know. Fielder's choice though, he gets to first base because they decide to take the lead runner on third. Here's Blythe, who has two home runs on the season. <laughs> Another one would be nice. Especially against these guys. Now she's hit straight to shortstop, she's going to give the side away. Ah. <sighs> And so nothing happens in the fourth. We go to the fifth. Still trailing by two. And Blythe's ERA is up to 5.4. How about it? The third uh, baseman, number just, 10. Just the, fe On just the thought I had. But I don't think she'll be with us next season. It's just a feeling I have. I mean, I'm in like that with the um, selector. So, you know, there's a good chance she won't be with us next season. That is nowhere near good enough. <laughs> Just don't tell her that, alright? She doesn't know. She's basically already been cut. It's just formality. Although the way she's pitching at the moment, maybe she knows. <laughs> That's the full count! Holy shit, that's absolutely laced. Say goodnight, that's out of here. And that is why she is out of here. <laughs> that's our starting pitcher right there. Now back, center fielder, number four, Maya Whitehead. And the only reason she's still out there is because we're so thin on the ground in the bullpen. So, she has to keep going. At least through this inning, I think we might try and get through 7, 8 and 9, but we can't really do 6 as well. God damn wild pitches. I suppose if I've got no idea where they're going, they should have no idea as well. And another one! <laughs> For good measure! I think we lost the ball there, it got stuck between the crowd, the stand and, and the wall. Straight to first base, he doesn't catch it, but he gets to the bag first. Now batting, the first baseman, number 82, Tyson Anaya. Right, they've stretched their lead out to three. There's uh, one out, nobody on. Fate the shortstop, and he picks it up. Throws. Nice work. Now batting the right fielder, number eleven, Windy Wheels. I think they've been home with Windy Wheels playing in Wacker's Wheel. How <laughs> can okay, I get to that? That's a base hit. Comfortably beats shortstop. Didn't even waste my okay. time diving. Would have been pointless. Number 19, <laughs> Leandro Strong. We just risked injury for nothing. 
So that's two out, one on. Lions, some um, velocity which you never started off with any anyway, is gone. That's what there was of it, isn't. So the velocity she didn't have, she no longer has. She no long, she more no longer has. Well, she has even less. That's better. The velocity she didn't have at the start, she has even less. Well, let's just move on. That's just digging a big hole. Moving on. <laughs> Nice steal. There's a lot of there's a lot of pace on that runner, so kind of expect it. One ball, one strike. Oh god! Thousand away. Another wild pitch. Thousand away. One ball, two strikes. Gets the strike out with the velocity she doesn't have, low and inside. <laughs> and I think that's the last we've seen of her. So I don't think we're going to get her through six. We're going to have to go through four innings, I think, on the pitches we don't have. <laughs> we'll have a look. We'll have a look when we get to the next one. Okay, Barrett Olsen. He's way under it. Center field can uh, sit down, have another cup of tea and a biscuit, and take the catch. <laughs> Loki, this time after a week off, has actually done something. And something else is he hits that one over top of first base to get to first base. That's another hit. Now Having a good day today. Sloan had a, a bad one last week. That's all we've got a single today, so she's picked it up a bit. Oh, fouls that one. Somehow drags it. <laughs> Iron in, though. Picks the cap. If it gets down quick enough, it will. And it does, this is a moving score. Run, go, 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 go. Run, you're in. Nice work. An RBI double. Engine the scooter. Oh, I don't think you got enough of it. It's gone deep to centre field, yeah, it's not carried. And we would have got the third base here if we had stayed on second. Whoops. That brings up the man. Oakley Stiffs. One of that video was early. Oh, he pulled that straight to shortstop. And all they need is that one to leave a runner stranded. But we drag one back. Mind you, they put one on and we just drag that one back. So we still trail by two. At the end of five. We had the top of the sixth. Still in it, but hanging in there. Number 28. This is where our pitching gets difficult. This is where it gets <laughs> this is where it gets difficult. We started with a crap picture. Okay, this is where it gets more difficult. Because <laughs> Flive, whatever she did have, she no longer has. So. Kent's about 85, 90. Jacob's likewise. Binky was crap in the last game. I don't know if we'll ever use him again. <laughs> And the Major is still recovering from injury. The only 100%er we've got is Laurel Power, who's our sort of pseudo-closer. She only has two pitches. We have to try and make do with these two guys. Kent has slightly better stamina. So, Kent, you're going to have to carry us here for at least a couple of innings. Three if we can get them. 
but at least a couple. Now pitching and rather as well. All right, four seam slider, curveball, fork ball, change up. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> Third base jumps from about 10 meters away. <laughs> and he's at 10. The pitcher, number 54, Rocco May. Is that pitcher coming out? Now batting, yep. Prince Prize. Prince Prize comes in for a bit of pinch hitting. Actually coming in for a bit of Prince hitting. <laughs> put in a Prince hitter. Baseball humour. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty base alright. Bounds that away, that's one ball, two strikes. And what have you got now for us, Kent? I have no fucking idea. Great, let's see it. Oh, come on, that must have drifted in. Bloody, someone left, must have left the door open and, and the breeze kept it out somehow. Strike three, you're out. Now back, the catcher, number 29, Hera Oluglians. Batting 396 for four homers. 17 RBIs. Bit of a hitter here. Like I said, bit of a hitter here. Oh, nearly slid in for the catch. Actually, stopped the ball. Didn't catch it though. A nice effort. How that could have been a lot worse if they completely 71. missed it. Probably didn't get away to run. I mean, the season is a little bit unhappy. It's just, just the theory I have. <laughs> there was something in her attitude. <laughs> Just a little hint there to give gave away that she may be unhappy. Whoa! To give that something. Oh come on, why isn't that drifting in? God damn breezes against me. Even the breezes against me. Why the pitcher never moved? The pitcher never moved. Passed within an inch of the pitcher and they just looked. Wow. I thought my reflexes were bad. These people are supposed to be in the prime of their sporting careers. <laughs> they got no reflexes at all. So I feel so much better now. And hell, if, if their reflexes are like that, they got none at all. There is hope for me. I would have seen that coming back. Ugh. Two out. Now Runners on second and third. Eight. Number four, Maya Whitehead. Another run. Another two runs. That's a poor throw. It also gives up second base. Now batting the first baseman. Oh. Two, Tyson <laughs> Anaya. And all of a sudden, the game slips away. Leads out to five. And they've still got a runner on second. It's not even over yet. We've got no pitches to come back with. <laughs> We're on not fully fit um, relievers. Try and get us out of this game. We really need to invest in some pitching stuff for next season. Severely. 
from a bunch of hitters, but they have to hit because, well, the pitchers give away so many runs. <laughs> it's kind of like we had to. That gets them out, but not before they score, what, three more? Prince comes out. Tiffany Orr is the next pitcher. It's 100 foot long Friday. Yeah, they scored three more. And today's winning row is row F in section 114. It leads out to five. We go to the bottom of the six. On its way. Now batting the third baseman. Number She's come up empty so far, mate. Pip, Mass. she won't be happy with that. Hits her straight down the throat of the second base. And that's that. Number 11, Vinny Hurley. Vinny, and that's the double today. He'd like to get over that fence. He just might have. That's going back, going back, going back, going back, going, it's gone. There we go. In his 11th home run of the season. Buying him back might have actually been a good idea, be it an expensive one. And that should fall safely in right field. But, uh, I was going for two bases, but there's no way there's two bases in that. <laughs> Stay at first. Now batting the pitcher, number 59, Kent Ratherswell. Batting 400 with the bat. Okay. Well, we need you for another inning anyway. Oh, we just got the side out. One, two. Thanks, Kent. Much appreciated. <laughs> well, we pulled one back. It's back to four runs, but we're down to the last three innings. It's getting down to do or die now if we're going to pull this one out. I don't know if we've got the pitches to do it with. Kent's ERA is almost seven. Number 11, Jesus. Wendy Wheels. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> Especially since he's running out of zoom here. So he's got a bit of stamina left. And he's neutral for the moment. I do all these wild, wild pitches. And the only good thing about wild pitches is I don't know where they're going. Sure as hell they shouldn't know where they're going. <laughs> Nobody should know where they're going. Can't just spit on the ball. <laughs> I don't know, but it worked. <laughs> it's all loop speed to pick miss at third base. That's the first out. Oh, that one actually did drift in. Nice. Three year out. Now batting the second baseman, number twenty-eight, Aspen Sherman. One of three today. Batting two seventy with two home runs. I've sort of heard that before, haven't we? <laughs> Seems to be a common theme amongst our opponents. Nice split split the gap beautifully, but it should only be a single. If it goes out to left field. Along the ground. How about him? The pitcher, number 50, Tiffany Orr. Is she coming out? They got a runner on. Nope. Runner's got a bit of pace as well. Interesting. They're um, banking on that she might do something here. I'm hoping not. <laughs> Oh, come on, that was there in time. Well in time. Ouch. Strike two. Nice pitch. Go straight to Larry Burke, though. And that'll save us from any damage. As we go to the bottom of the seventh. It's time for the seventh inning stretch. And that's so we fast forward to through that. And we're back. <laughs> Bottom of the seventh. <laughs> Don't slow that down and see it in full speed. The proper speed. It, it was 
Gibberish. Right, here we go. Oh, he's caught that too well because it's going to drop into the hands of Centerfield. And just back to Loki Knox. He has a home today and a single. Pulls that one down right field, but it's probably going to get caught as well. Right in the corner. Right in the corner, yeah, right in the corner. In the corner by right. Never mind. Sloan Anderson. Sloan, two of three today. Back into a bit of form. Oh, I think she got more hot air. The right fielders had to run in, so it's definitely a fly ball. And our chances of winning this game are slowly flying away. See how that fly ball fly? Tough audience. Right, top of the eighth, trailing by four. And uh, our chances of catching now up to the top place team in the division. Number 29, Era slipping away. Kent, have you got another inning in you? Hmm. Well, you've got the start of another inning. Whether you've got the whole inning depends how it goes. But you've got the start of one. That's a high fly ball. Anybody going to catch that or, or what? Yep. <laughs> They're standing there looking at each other. Where's the ball dropping? No, no. Do you know? No, I don't know. Well, what? Should I go for it? Should you go for it? Oh, what the hell? You go for it. <laughs> it's like the Keystone Cops out in the outfield. The fact that I catch anything out there should, should be bloody some sort of achievement award. Something like the AI, I have no idea where it's landing. Oh, well, at least the pitcher moved for that one. That was moving faster than the other one where he didn't even move. I don't know. Let's try that center field for a base hit. It's one out and one on with pace as well, mind you. Let's just um, keep them honest over there. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is Gary Glitter in here? I don't know, I think he's dead, isn't he? <laughs> okay, maybe not get him in here then. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Move it along. How did he dig that out? I do not know. That was in the dirt. Must have used his sandwich there. How about the center fielder, number four, Maya Whitehead. It looks blue. It's just the name. Oh. oh shit. <laughs> Anticipated up. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Anticipated up bro crap pitch low and away. Nice. I'm so impressed. Strike one. Two balls. Uh, we only got one out. We got runners on first and second. One out. Kent's still neutral. It's neutral. But your stamina's back on. Oh god. Three bosses. If you walk them. So, been Indian now. If you walk them, me, I'm not speaking to you with fucking tongue anymore. <laughs> Ooh, that was my ball. Right, full count. What, what do you got in your bag of tricks now? Let me have a look. We're in trouble. Why is that? Nothing left in the bag of tricks? I forgot to bring the bag of tricks. Oh, God. We're in trouble. Kent, you're done. Now batting the first baseman, number 82, Tyson Anaya. 
You gotta look for your bag of tricks now because you're gone. <laughs> And we're bringing in the Marshmallow Man. All pitching, Jacob Marshmallow. All right, he's got a four seam slider, curveball, forkball, changeup. How is that a ball? That's the umpire so I'm not to give you a strike. Oh, that's true. So. <laughs> Come on, catch that. Nice. Um, that's a foul, isn't it? Now battle, the right fielder, number 11. Wasn't that a foul? Fields. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> Let's just backtrack here. Did I not cross the line into foul territory to take that catch? You can't run on a foul. He just ran, a, ran to home base and scored a run. On a foul. Since when can you run on a foul? When did this rule come in? It's a foul. I caught it in foul territory. It's a foul. What the fuck are they pulling now? Oh my god. <laughs> AI rules, man. AI rules. We'll make them up. Doesn't matter if it's a foul, you can still score a run. On a foul? Since when? Since when we just made that rule right now. Thank you. I'm going to score more here so it doesn't really matter. It's, it's not going to make a difference to things. But I think it's going to be a protest lodged after the game for a rematch because they scored a run on a foul, which you can't do. I'm pretty sure you can't score runs on fouls. I played baseball. Not very often, but I played baseball, and one of the things you couldn't do was run on a foul. You had to go back to the base. <laughs> but I suppose that's real rules. This is AI rules. <laughs> we make our own rules. If we've got a player on third and you take a catch in foul territory, we're going to run home and score that run. Because we make the rules. <laughs> Goddamn cheats. Lucky it's a bloody one-sided game and that didn't cost us anything. But the game was already over. Quick, they can run on that. Oh, that's a foul. You can run. <laughs> Why don't you run home? So let me get this straight. You, you can run home on a foul, but if it's a foul, you can't. Run home. What? If you're going to make your own rules, at least make them consistent. <laughs> that's it. God oh, damn it. I don't even know what I'm playing anymore. In the space of one out, the rules changed. <laughs> you can run on a foul, and then you can't run on a foul. And then you can run on a foul. And then, what the hell? <laughs> Is this still baseball at all? <laughs> what are we playing? We're playing whatever we make it. <laughs> Ugh. Go! Scooters hit a home run, or at least it used to be a home run when you'd over the fence. I don't know what they call it now. <laughs> Maybe you got to go back to base, you got to get a base hit for that. Who knows? We're playing by a whole different rule book. Here comes Oakley. Number 20. Oakley. Now pitching, Jasmine Lawson. Tiffany Aura is gone. Jasmine Lawson. Jasmine Lawson? Jasmine. I don't know. Let's just say Lawson. And one of the outfielders has changed as well. Wendy's gone. Hopefully <laughs> he's wasting no time and on the plate today, he just goes after the first pitch every time. Seems to be working well, so why change it? On the other hand, Pip is having a shocker every day. Running out of chances to do something about that. Oh, she sits that right in the left field and might actually get caught in left field. It is caught right in the corner. And 
course, Oakley had already run. He had to run all the way back. So he basically ran two bases there to stay on first. That's <laughs> unfortunate. Vinny Hurley. Vinny, home run and a double today for the Vinster. Work. Let's work on that. Oh, he's kicked the gap. I don't think he's got a homer, though. But uh, he's got two bases, and he's got um, Oakley to third. Home run from Larry. Pick us up three runs here. And we'd still be alive. Who would have thunk it? Come on, Larry. Big bad Larry. Nope, not that one. Oh, he wanted that, but he's pulled it. Pulled it foul. He's laced that. He's laced it straight down the throat of left field. And players are going to have to get back. Oh, that was really bad. Now batting the pitcher, number 33, Jacob Marshmallow. Well, unfortunately, Jacob, considering we've got runners on second and third and the chance to get back in the game, be it not really, but we'd cut it back to three runs if we knocked it over the fence. We need somebody who can knock it over the fence. I think it's going to be Blind Hendricks. Bring in the blind man. God, two good pitches. Sliced it between the two fielders. Go! Oh, they caught it! I thought it was between them. Oh! I thought he had split left field and center field, but it hung up enough for left field to get over there and take the catch. And that's probably the ball game. Dang it. It would have been interesting if we had been able to pick that up. But we didn't. Now the story is, have we got anyone who can pitch this out? Mendez is injured. Binky's crap. Uh, it's going to have to be Laurel. I mean, she's our pseudo-closer anyway. <laughs> so, uh... She's only got two pitches. Although she's not a closer because she hasn't got pace. She's now she don't close the second baseman, number twenty-eight, Aspen Sherman. Two singles, two from four. Let's throw in a wild pitch. Because don't expect that. Uh, only all the time. Oh yeah, there is that. And another one! <laughs> What's a lot of thing? Well, pitches it to make you wild. Oh. After all that, it's a base hit. <laughs> now Do all the hard work. Number twelve, Billy LeBoink. No stats on him, did he? He's one of the ones I just brought in, is he? And the replacements. That's a fly ball. I'm not sure where it's going. I don't know where it's falling. Anywhere in that area? Yes! Vinny Hurley takes the catch. Runner stays at first. Now batting the catcher, number 29, Hera O'Wuglia. <laughs> 98. That's not too, too shabby, actually. Slabby? It's not too slabby either. Oh, stick your arm out further. <laughs> Stuck the arm out, but it wasn't long enough. Oh, God. Let's have a wild pitch, shall we? <laughs> Why? Of course, that's what we do. Could have gone for a double play. Oh, it didn't get anything. Dropped it at first. Decided not to go with the double play. Just take the definite out at first. And it wasn't, there's no such thing as definite in baseball. Dropped at first, and they're, they're safe. So one out and two on. The runner on second's got pace as well. That's dangerous. Come on. 
the third base. Oh, when the wheels 10. fall off, they fall off. Oh, I'm standing next to second base. This is an easy double play. Got nothing. <laughs> That's why stick with your golden rule. Take the easy out. Even though she dropped it. What's the chances of her dropping it again? You would have had another out. It would have been two outs. And a chance of stopping any runs. But now you've got runners for bases loaded and only one out. So changing your golden rule didn't work out very well, did it? Well, standing right next to second. Yeah, well, you still didn't pull it off, did you? <laughs> no. You're standing right next to second. You can say that all you like. You changed your, your way you play, and now you've dug yourself a huge hole. It's alright, we'll get out of it. And how are we going to do that? We're going to get this guy out, the next guy out, and the, the base is loaded again, stay loaded. I was straight through the picture! What the hell's that? Oh, now the catcher can't catch the goddamn ball. Center Jesus. Field, number four, Maya Whitehead. Can I break this that the um the recording doesn't actually happen? And we'll just play it again and say this never happened. <laughs> this has been a shocker from start to finish. What a ball's up. <sighs> well, we should get up and win it though. Still. I mean, the greatest comeback since Lazarus. How is that an odd strike? Oh. Another run scores. The first but at least we did throw it the first. Two, first. Anaya. Stick with that plan. You know you've got an out there. That drop one was very rare. Trying to the second first, even though he's standing next to second, got nobody. That was a stupid move. Oh my god. Well, that got what it deserved. A wild pitch. Oh, he nearly caught it. <laughs> it didn't go for a home run. He jumped up and somehow knocked it down. He didn't catch it, though, but didn't go for a home run. Number 37, Jasmine. After what's that in the slow motion replay, I'm not really sure what happened there. If he managed to knock it down, there's a good chance he could have caught that. But he didn't. Uh -oh. They've the crowds. Oh, is this a home game for them? No, we're at home. Hmm. Seems like they have a lot of home support for a team that's not the home team. <laughs> they knew something. Yeah, that's it. They looked and said, right, we're the top team, we're playing the bottom team, it should be a comfortable win. And it is. <laughs> well, there is that. I suppose we came in as the underdogs. That one should be out. There we go. Right, what do we need? We need 10 runs to take it into victory innings, 11 to win. And we're at the top of the order, so... Should be a piece of cake, a walk in the park. Easy as pie. A lot of food stuff going on there. It must be time to eat. <laughs> Let the home run fest begin. It's like a home run derby right here. Gee, well, it's not a bad start. I don't know if he's got the distance. It's going, it's going, it's going. It's... <laughs> Stand by, folks. This could be the biggest comeback since Lazarus. That's one. Nine more. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't read about it if it pulled this off. Unbelievable. Ah. Uh, one of it. Well, that's not a home run, but he's on base. So he pulls that straight out the center field. Who's up? Sloan Anderson, double or single. What's missing from that list? A home run. Well, here's your chance. That would be a good time. Oh, it's into the crowd, but that's foul. 
That one's in the left field and it should hold on too. It will. Am I going to make it? Yes. Runners on the corners. Scooter Sandbrick. Yeah, already has a home run. Let's go. Let's go. The home crowd wants up the cheerful. There's a run. <laughs> runners on first and second. And the comeback is on. We've got two of the ten, eight more. <laughs> Here comes Oakley. Not that one. Oh, he wanted that. But that's not it. Oh, he fly balls it. No, he balls it. Shortstop gets that. That's one away, but still got runners on first and second. I would have thought Oakley would be the man to do it. Pip is 0 for 4. This is her big chance to do something today. Well, safe. We'll load the bases. We won't get home with that. Someone can come out and grand slam the final inning. Oh, Vinny would love to do that. That's made for Vinny. It's Vinny time. <laughs> That's not it, Vinny. <laughs> Oh, he's split the gap. We'll get a run in and bases stay loaded. <laughs> Big bad Larry. He has a home run today. Come on, Larry. Your moment. No, oh, that's foul. That's safe. Oh, he's nailed that, but it's foul. Over the top! No, it's caught. It's going to be a double play, and that's the end of the game we lose. <laughs> well, a little bit of um, shenanigans at the bottom of the last. <laughs> we tried to make the greatest comeback of all time, but... Well, that's for a good team, not us. <laughs> we were playing the top side, but that makes life difficult because that's the interdivisional game. That was really important. Couldn't pull it off. And even though we come back with three when we needed ten in the last, we were seven short. <laughs> and we go down by seven. Twenty hits each, though. They converted sixteen from twenty. No wonder they're on top. That's impressive. Right, how did we go? Everybody got hits. Look at that. Everybody at least had a go at it. Home runs, six of them. Olsen got one, Knox got one, Sambrick got one, Stiffs got one, Hurley got one, Burke got one. Pip was the only one who didn't manage to get, get the big hit in there today. She got one hit. Sloan got three hits, was unable to get over the fence, but got three hits that's solid. Uh, only gave away two home runs, so they ran the base as well. We only had one strikeout. Pit Miss struck out in one inning. And that was the sole strikeout. Nice. On their side, they had 12. So, all or nothing with the pitching. Blythe, who's, um, well, she's not great. She'll be gone next season. <laughs> Five innings. Gave up six runs, two home runs. Kent, Jacob, Laurel came in to finish off the game. Look at all of their ERAs. 5.4, 7.5, 5.9, 7.8. There's not a pitcher amongst them. <laughs> we really need some pitchers for next season. Maya Whitehead gets the MVP. 2 of 5 home run. Is that 6 RBIs? Um, Vinny managed to sneak in there for votes. Four or five in the home run. I think that's six. That, oh, that's not six. Two hits, isn't it? Four hits. Can't read that. What's six? 
I gave that six RBIs. And then that's two, two doubles, two RBIs. Something like that anyway. Ron, Ron say, and we didn't find out what, what he says, because he never said anything. He said, I'm getting the third boat. That's what he said. <laughs> and that's that. We finished the week on a downer, kind of, because they was the top side. But, um, gee, we could have broke this season wide open if bottom had a beat top with three games left. And they, what, about one game splitting top from bottom. <laughs> well, the last three games, that would have made it. But unfortunately, we increased the gap. So I think we pretty much sorted it now that we were fighting for a wild card. We can't win the division after blowing that. But hell, let's make it more of a downer by having a manager moment. Because we love those. A couple of players are feeling blue about not seeing action today. But you are late for your bagpipes lesson. Oh, I hate missing my bagpipes lesson. Who do you not have time to comfort? Sada, I don't really think is someone we're looking long term. My Ortega probably is. So I guess it's um, Jorge. See, see, they can't even pronounce his name because it's George. Um, you're it. Oh, God. Gee, we had three in the last game. There are two more in this one. What the hell is all these manager moment crap? Right. Who is on dirty hamper duty this week? I think we are keeping Sloane, so I guess it's going to be Jeff. We're going to try and keep Sloane. Oh, three again! What the hell is this crap? First, you make up a rule that you can now run on fouls, which has never existed as long as I've known. Now you're probably going to throw all these manager moments at me. This is the game. This is the um, round from hell. The media is asking who you thought shined in today's game. Who do you praise? Well, both these guys had good games. Loki, I can't really see as a definite long-term prospect. Why Scooter is a long-term prospect as a backup. So I guess... It's plus 17 now. You don't lose any loyalty, so he's already 80. Let's give it to Loki Knox and keep them both up. 80 and 91. Simply looking at... Um, what their motivations are so I can keep them for next season. We've got 19 CPU games to complete. Let's go. Wild Hogs and the Force is the to the Wild Hogs. Scorches and Phantoms. Bit of a stutter there, what's going on? But the topsy turvy game, the Scorches get up. Go, Pirates! Oh, they were winning. What the hell? Barbarians win. Cougars against Cowboys. There's a win to the Cougars. Storm against the Power. The Power get up. Hawks against the Panthers. There's a win to the Hawks. Scorpions and the Royals. Royals get up and they might have clinched the division with that. Hornets against the Dragons. Go Dragons! Yes, Dragons! Nice work. Firebirds against Stampede. Win to the Firebirds. Warriors and the Sharks. Is a win to the Sharks. Extreme take on the Boomers. And that's going to be a comfortable win to Extreme. Yes. Pioneers and the Force. Nice win to the Pioneers. Slammers take on the Tridents. And the Tridents in a shutout. Magic and Scorchers go Scorchers! Yes. Nice work. Firebirds and Wildcats, <laughs> no bias here. It's a win to the Firebirds. Mustangs and Mariners, it's a win to the Mariners. Bulldogs and Power, win to the Power. Wild Hogs and the Eagles, it's a win to oh, the Wild Hogs from behind. Storm and Stampede, it's a win to the Stampede. And that's that. <sighs> We're down to the pointy end now. Three games remaining for most of us. Some might be closer. Some might be might have an extra game, might have four. As it stands, Green Conference, Pirates, three games clear. And 17 and 14, a negative two run difference. 
Oh, division's negatives. Negative 31, negative 37, and negative 4. What the hell? That's interesting. Um, they're three games clear with three games to go. You'd think with a 29 run advantage against the team behind them that they've probably clinched that. Strange things have happened, but they're going to, the Phantoms are going to have to win by six, seven, eight runs of time, and Pirates lose by six, seven, eight runs of time. <laughs> or close to for that to turn around. So, haven't clinched it, but as good as. Kangaroo Division, Firebirds, half a game in front. They've actually broke the. Well, they actually haven't broke it because the Sharks have still got an extra game in hand, so they could still be tied. <laughs> but either way I think both of them will be playing finals Hawks in the Ding Dingo division are three games clear they're on plus 30 so I think it'll be hard to dislodge as well oh, there's two games three two teams three games behind them um, Platypus division the Royals plus 35 the other three are all in negatives you'd think they'd have to be at a three game lead with three games to go And what 40 run advantage over second place, that would be very, very hard to dislodge for, for title. Gold Conference, one bet division, and we still sit last, but only two games behind the top placed Hornets, one game behind Barbarians and Magic. <laughs> We've had a hell of a season. We're back in the negative bloody run difference as well. Gee. I don't think we're going to make it. We'll have to have a look and see who we've got in the last three games. Um, drop Bears last right with the next one, Quality Division. Power are only half a game clear of Warriors. Two games clear of Stampede. That one's still wide open. <laughs> Crookerborough Division. Pioneers, one and a half games clear of second. On 20 and 19, you think that um, whichever one doesn't get the division will get a wild card anyway, so I think they're both safe. They're just playing to see who wins the division. Wallaby Division, Boomers are only one game clear of both Cougars and Scorpions. That's wide open. And another division where everybody's in negative run difference. <laughs> Got some interesting matchups going here as we go into the last three rounds. Um, oh, we've got another in interdivisional one coming up. We're at home to the Barbarians. That probably makes that even more important than the one we just played. Because we can go past these guys, I think. Can we look at the standings again? What are they on? Oh no, they're plus 32. We can't go past them, but we can level them. But they'll be still ahead on run difference. Unless, of course, we beat them by, what, 16? That'd give us plus 12. No, we have to win by about 18. If we can beat them by 18 or 19 runs, we could, we could jump above them. <laughs> Well, let's have a look at the um, wildcard standings, and we're still out of it. And the rest of our division is still in it. They're just rubbing the salt in. So what's wrong with you guys? The rest of us are in the finals. I'll piss off. <laughs> okay. The schedule. Who are the last three teams we play? We've got the Barbarians, Dragons, and we've got the Magic. We finish off with another interdivisional. That could decide whether we play finals or not in the very last game. Two of our last three games are interdivisional. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Well, I suppose looking on the bright side, the two teams that are directly above us by a game, that gives us the opportunity to make finals. Because we're actually directly affecting the teams we, we need to get past. We don't have to wait on other results. We can actually be the results. <laughs> well, can't miss next week's games then. We'll see you then. Ciao.